to carry out any kind of life functions, macromolecules must be contained so that they can associate and interact. Today, the simplest cells are surrounded by membranes, and it seems likely that thin envelopes of some sort were vital in the early development of life. These slowly growing bodies are not alive. They are simple membranes made from fatty acids, a kind of building block molecule created under primitive earth conditions. Like the membranes of living cells, they concentrate molecules by allowing certain substances to enter while keeping others out. If such membrane structures developed in the primordial soup, they would have concentrated macromolecules, an important step leading to life. So the stage is set. Building blocks are rising spontaneously. Macromolecules synthesized on crystal templates. Concentration and association these are preliminary steps, but to be alive, a collection of macromolecules must be able to acquire and utilize energy. In living organisms, every act involves energy transactions. Energy is used to produce new substances, for locomotion, for getting materials into cells, for behavior. Life has an insatiable appetite for energy.